Also, this isn't pasta sauce, it's a cut. I keep opening my mouth to talk and it just keeps reopening. So me and my partner just recently returned from being in Indonesia for four months. We went there with a pretty broad plan. Prior to the trip, tinkered around the idea of getting to the mental eyes and we ended up actually finding a somewhat cheapish way to get there. I don't think there's enough here for a vacation. There is for a mega savings vacation. We knew that we couldn't afford a charter or resorts. We chose a land camp. We're going to talk about getting over there because there's two ways to do it. And says you can fly mega cheap if you don't care where you go. That's right. One is the fast ferry. I think that's the most popular one just because you can get there in like six hours. It's organized through a lot of the resorts and the accommodations over in the Mints. I think the tickets are around like 60 Australian dollars each. It's the cost of boards that kind of sets you back a little bit. And we were wanting to spend about six months in Indonesia. We wanted to make our money last. For the fast ferry, one board equals $30. So if you're traveling with numerous boards, it can add up pretty fast. The reason I chose the slow ferry over the fast ferry is because you just pay for your fare getting on the ferry. You don't pay for luggage. When we were in South Sumatra, we met a couple people that had just spent a good amount of time there and they said that we could take the slow ferry. It takes about 14 hours from Padang, depending on where you're wanting to go. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a mission getting there. It was really hard to get a gauge on exactly what schedules, times, information on anything on the ferry. We traveled up to Padang by bus, stopping in Benkulu for one night. Once we got to Padang, we stayed at a little place called Bridget's Homestay. Still about a 20 minute drive to the slow ferry. Uh, the slow ferry departs at a place called Bungus Harbour. So just keep in mind that if you're going to take the slow ferry, maybe try and stay a little bit closer than we did. We were only a couple weeks into our travel, so didn't really speak much Indonesian. Just a couple words, maybe the slight phrase. We managed to gauge that when the ferry we wanted to go was and told it was going to be the following day at 5 p.m. Came back next day. The boat didn't actually leave till about 7 p.m. On the boat. You could pay an extra two dollars to get a bed get a bed when we got it it was called the vip ticket it is an overnight ferry you are traveling from the evening until the early morning of the next day and the beds are in this dorm style room you are sleeping very close to other people and the rooms do get very cold at night it is a very thin mattress if you're a light sleeper maybe bring some earplugs it's very noisy at night um there's people playing instruments on board um there's people playing noises off their phones loudly people playing games in the main area. There's just a lot going on. Sorry, sir. No refunds. We put, it, we put our surfboards in a little storeroom at the bottom of the boat and left that there until the next morning. There isn't any meals. You can buy snacks and stuff, chips and soft drinks. There's no internet on board and phone service doesn't work. So be wary of that if you need phone service for when you get to your destination. You make sure you're registered with Telcomsel. None of the other phone providers worked once we got to Sapir Island. We were traveling to Tua Pajet, one of the middle islands of the Mentawais. The slow ferry that we were getting was going to the top island first where playgrounds is, eBay's, pit stops and then going to Tua Pajem. We didn't know this. We actually had an extra five hour trip ahead of us once we arrived at 5 a.m. in the morning. Something else we saved on, which was I think maybe out of luck, we didn't have to pay the Mentawai surf tax. It's the surfers tax that you have to pay. It's 100 Australian when you arrive at the Mentawais. But because we arrived at Tua Pajet so early in the morning on the slow ferry, no one hassled us. No one even asked for it. We just walked off with our boards and walked to find a taxi. Now, I haven't talked about the land camp we stayed at or where we went. So if you want to know a little bit more information on that, let me know in the comments and I might make another video. The point is, you gotta squeeze every penny. Come on, let me hear you. Squeeze, squeeze every, every penny. penny. Squeeze every penny. I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing it. Hey, I squeezed so hard it went into my hand. Oh, Homer, not again.